these other elves are doing it on stop. Yay! But I do miss making toys, though. Don't make me beat you again, Sid. Sorry. He's gonna cave in in no time. Excuse me, Miss Girl. Yeah, what do you want?
Once upon a time, there was a little suburb just north of Fort Worth, and this suburb was just about the happiest place on earth. Well, okay, it was close. And they had a Home Depot and two clown hamburgers and a Chinese restaurant, and I guess that made it pretty wonderful. But what they really never had was a white Christmas. One year they got close. It's snowing! It's snowing! Yay! But it wasn't snow. It was hail. But one year, and this was an extra special year, a year that would be known as the bestest Christmas ever. We're never going to have a white Christmas. Well, we could have an ice storm. That's not the same. Sometimes it snows in February. Is Christmas in February? No. But shut up. Hey, girls. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Why are you so sad? It's never going to snow here before Christmas. Well, girls, all right you are. You see, there's something called global warming, which is caused by an increase of carbon monoxide in the atmosphere, which creates what's called a, a greenhouse effect. But slowly but surely, the whole planet is heating up, which means by the time you're old enough to have children, the Earth will be one simmering desert. All you have to do is walk outside and your skin will blister and your hair will fall out. So enjoy Christmas now, because in a few years, we'll be living in an oven. Their mother wasn't that much help. Cookies? But she did make good cookies. Mom, she was everything. She might be dating to our moms with that kind of stuff. Wake up screaming at night. Of course not. But do you know what really damaged you to mind? Chemically treated water. If you drink it, you'll develop brain tumors and die. But at least you won't be living in store for the whole planet. Again, not very nice. Do you grow up with something to drink? No, thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, you girls, have a nice day. Mom went to college too long. It warped her brain. But you know what? Maybe it could stop global warming. Us? Yeah, and then it would snow, and we could have a hot Christmas. Well, how do we stop global warming? <laughs> Can't be that. So they thought about it, and they thought about it some more. Until finally, I got it. You do? Oh, whoops! Forgot to add that part. So they continued to think about it. If only we could move the Earth just a little bit farther away from the sun. Well, we can't do that. Stupid. That's right, girls. All human effort is stupid because sooner or later we're gonna be dead. Mom, stop it. I mean it. Sorry, I get carried away. You're such a downer. I just wanted to give us another truth. There is no Santa. The Easter Bunny got run over by a snow a couple of years back, and we're never going to have a white Christmas. Boy, the truth really stinks. Oh, and I forgot. You know, the tooth fairy, Uncle Sam, no pigeoning. Not so much wise things that are true. Have a nice day. I hate my parents. Just then, Jesse got an idea. I got an idea. What is it? Maybe we can write a letter to Santa. He can make it snow. Why don't you just listen to what Mom said? No. I've got a bear. We can make a volcano explode somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, and it would shoot a bunch of dust into the atmosphere, and it would block out the sun, and the whole world would drop like 10 degrees or something. Happened in the 16th century. That's so crazy. It might work. But they ditched that idea, and instead they wrote a letter to Santa. Remember, girls, Santa's not real. Neither is global warming. But they didn't have a chance to go into that debate because it was time for bed. But they wrote their letter and they mailed it, and it went something like this: Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is some snow. Sometimes it gets kind of cold in the winter here, but it usually gets that kind of between cold and warm, which is pretty sad. So all of us kids really want to go outside and have a big snowball fight and make snowmen. And do all that stuff we see on TV. So I'm just saying that I don't want any presents. I just want all of us to have a white Christmas. And I'm not really sure that you can control the weather or anything, but if you can fly around the whole world with a bunch of magical reindeer, maybe you've got all kinds of superpowers. And if you just can't do it because you don't have the ability, have you thought that you'd blow up a volcano in the Pacific to lower the earth temperature? Anyway, I still believe in you. Sign your friend Jesse and Kate. So they went to sleep, and maybe, just maybe, someone read that letter, and when they woke up the next day. <laughs> Jesse, 
that friend. You can buy one for me. I want one. Me too. And I'll make three. Well, it's not just the tree to be perfectly clear. You're going to need more and more things for all of your cheer. Like what? Well, like last and mechanical deal. Dear, you need them if you'll have once to have Santa up here. So she sold them boxes of lights and rolls of bright paper. She sold them boots and some the to shimmery shoes. As soon as all the town was at the new shop, they bought all the clothes they couldn't quite stop. What if your neighbor has better decorations? You better get ready and make preparations to buy and to buy and to buy some more stuff. You always need more. You can't have enough. So she sold and they bought and they kept buying till the end of the month came and they got all the bills. You need it. You need it. You have to have more. You need all of these things. You don't want to look poor. Excuse me, I'll move, but we're all out of money. We've all the stuff and not be funny. It's sad, but it's true. We've got credit card debt. If it's credit you want, it's credit you'll get. I'll lend you some more at 18%. Uh, <laughs> so all the new cards they spent and they spent. The neighbors were crazy and fought with their friends to find the best deals before they all end. Hey, let like, go. You know I saw that first. But I'll give you that 12 first. Come on now, my friends. Let's all play nice. You can both have the toy. Let's let us increase in price. <laughs> so the people kept buying from evening till dawn, and the moon was in the middle, just egging them on. Why do you say if it's all throw it out? You don't want anything old hanging about. You need something new, and newer than that, because things that were new will soon be old cat. And you always need something... Bigger and better. A new version's out soon. Bluer and redder. Come on now, you people. You don't want to fear it. You don't want to lose all of your Christmas spirit. But in the midst of all this buying and selling, in the midst of shopping, screaming, and yelling, there was one small girl who stopped and looked around. What is this? I don't remember this town since when have it started being on me. This looks like I'm like a new door I don't like this Christmas. I don't like it at all. My dear girl, you don't understand my call. Christmas is about love, the will, and joy. And they all come free with this then she smirked and she sniggered. Boy, was she sly. For two easy payments of nine ninety five, we take credit or debit or even some cash. But remember, act now while supplies last. <laughs> You're wrong, y'all. You know, those things you can't sell. Oh, we can and we will, and we'll sell you as well. Come here, and you'll look pretty all wrapped up in sweet. Under some tree like a big Christmas tree. You have no idea how far we'll go. We'll sell the air, the water, the sun, and the snow. We'll sell joy, we'll sell peace, and we'll even sell love. And you people will buy it. You're all just that dumb. Oh, you're so wrong. Christmas isn't about this. Oh, it is. No, it isn't. The point you miss is that what it is doesn't matter. It's just what we say. We'll do anything late to our Christmas day. Well, that was it. The girl had had quite enough. She stood up and shouted, throwing down upon herself. <coughs> my family, my friends. This old lady is a jerk. All she wants is no money. She doesn't care who she hurts. I say we have Christmas all simple and clean. Without all these lights and that Christmas machine, we'll go back to what counts, our family and friends. And this Christmas family will bring it to an end. And the people were stunned. They all gathered around. She's right. Let's call that old moo out of town. My friends. Said the moo, backing up quickly. You can't listen to this child. All the girls will see them. You need so much. Enough. You heard what you said. You better get out before you end up dead. We're funeral now. People calm and retreating. But we get mad and fast. But the moon has a big face on her side. She pulled out the contract that they all had signed. If it's fair to see one, then I think you'll agree. According to this, your town's owned by me. You sign it away and you're hasted by more, so on your house is your court and your door. On your, uh, your pets and your children and all of your pets. I'm going to the money and now I'm the bank. You can check if you want. And I'm here to collect the walls on my side. You can check if you want. It's quite bona fide. So pack up your stuff and move out of my town. I don't want all of you bums just hanging around. Go ahead and complain to whoever you will. I'm the police, the army, and Capitol Hill. But that was enough. They had warned her twice. <laughs> all right, my friend, stop being nice. I don't care what you own, you dirty old mood. There's one thing that's clear. There's more of us than of you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've been quite mistaken. I can blame it on all of those pills I've been taking. I'll be moving on and I won't follow you further. And I'll leave you alone. There's no need for murder. <laughs> It's about love, peace, and happiness too. It's about all the wrong things you can't buy from a man.
and then back to the houses, they started to go a warm and all snug, and it started to snow. So good night, all you people in that little town. Let's hope the moon stopped coming around. Uh, well